Hi friends, let's learn about how the human eye works and vision defects such as myopia and hypermetropia. But in this video, I am not going to be drawing light ray diagrams or showing you animation. Rather, we are going to be using this light and optics kit and learn these concepts practically. So are you ready to look at what's in this kit and dive into the human eye? Wow, it has so many lenses for us to try. And there's a ray box that gives a parallel beam of light. Here is a diagram of the human eye. And I'm going to use this ray box to throw a parallel beam of light on the eye. When the lens is not present in the eye, the parallel rays remain parallel, as you can see here. And they do not converge on the retina. Now, do you know what type of lens is present in our eyes? Is it a convex or concave lens? That's right, it is a convex lens because a convex lens is a converging lens. So let's place a convex lens here in the eye. Now you can see that the convex lens helps to focus the light rays on the retina and we can see a clear image. Signals are sent to the brain via the optic nerve and our brain interprets the image. This is how the normal eye works. That is for a person who does not need to wear eyeglasses. For the normal eye, far away objects, that is distant objects and nearby objects, they both appear to be clear. But everybody does not have normal vision. A lot of us have to wear spectacles, eyeglasses. Because for some of us, without eyeglasses, far away objects appear blurred. For some of us, Nearby objects appear blurred and for some of us both far away and nearby objects appear blurred without eyeglasses. Let's discuss these vision defects and see how they can be corrected. Let's start with myopia also known as nearsightedness. For a person having myopia the nearby objects they appear to be clear but distant objects become blurry. If a myopic person does not have eyeglasses, he can easily read a book as it is a nearby object. But distant objects like writing on a blackboard, they appear to be blurred. This happens because the eyeball is longer than usual or the cornea has excessive curvature. Let's visualize this with our light experiment. Here I am using an eye diagram where the eyeball is longer than usual. When the object is far away, the rays of light coming from the object will be parallel rays. Our ray box is giving us parallel rays here. Since the eyeball is longer than usual, the light entering the eyes gets focused in front of the retina rather than directly on it. So now you can visualize why distant objects appear blurred for a person having myopia. So how do we fix myopia or nearsightedness? We know that we have to wear eyeglasses or contact lenses. But what type of lens is needed in these eyeglasses? Is it a convex lens or concave lens? That's right. The correct answer is concave lens. Now why is that? The problem in myopia is that the light rays are converging too soon. The rays are meeting before the retina. But we want the rays to converge a little later at the retina. That's why we need to use concave lenses for correction. Remember, concave lens is a diverging lens. The concave lens diverges the light rays before they enter the eye. This allows the light to focus directly on the retina providing clear vision. So if you have myopia, the optician will prescribe you eyeglasses having concave lenses of the correct part so that you can see far away objects clearly. Next, let's look at hypermetropia, which is also known as farsightedness. Hypermetropia is the opposite of myopia. For a person having hypermetropia, far away objects appear clear, but nearby objects they become blurry. You must have observed that sometimes people tend to hold a book or newspaper at a large distance by stretching their hands. 
Such a person has hypermetropia and without his eyeglasses, the nearby objects do not appear clear to him. That's why he has to hold it at a distance. But distant objects like writing on a blackboard, they appear to be clear. Hypermetropia occurs because the eyeball is shorter than usual or the cornea has insufficient curvature. Let's visualize this using our light experiment. Here I am using an eye diagram where the eyeball is shorter than usual. A distant object gives parallel rays, but a nearby object will give divergent rays. To obtain diverging rays, we have placed a concave lens after the ray box here. Since the eyeball is shorter than usual, the light entering the eye gets focused behind the retina rather than directly on it. So that's why the image appears blurred to the person. So now you can visualize why nearby objects appear blurred for a person having hypermetropia. What is the fix for hypermetropia or farsightedness? What type of lens is needed in the eyeglasses now? Will it be a convex lens or concave lens? That's right. This time we need a convex lens. Now why is that? The problem in hypermetropia is that the light rays are converging further away. The rays as you can see are meeting behind the retina. But we want the rays to converge a little earlier at the retina. That's why we need to use a convex lens for correction here. Remember a convex lens is a converging lens. So as you can see here the convex lens converges the light rays before they enter the eye. This allows the light to focus directly on the retina providing clear vision. So if you have hypermetropia, the optician will prescribe you eyeglasses having convex lenses of the correct part so that you can see the nearby objects clearly now. Let's summarize what we have learnt in a table so that the concepts will be crystal clear to you. We have discussed three cases the normal eye, myopia and hypermetropia. For people with normal eye, both far away and nearby objects are clear. They don't need to wear spectacles, eyeglasses. The light rays fall on the retina for them. So their vision is clear. But a person who has myopia or nearsightedness, the nearby objects are clear, but the far away objects are blurred. They need to correct the vision with eyeglasses that use concave lenses. A concave lens has negative part. So the optician's prescription for a myopic person will always have negative part. Next is hypermetropia or farsightedness. And you can easily remember that it is the opposite of myopia. For such a person, the far away objects are clear, but the nearby objects are blurred. They need to correct their vision with eyeglasses that use convex lenses. A convex lens has positive part. So the prescription for a hypermetropic person will have positive part. So with this table, you can remember all these concepts clearly. Now a question might come to your mind. Can a person have both myopia and hypermetropia? The answer is yes. For these people, both nearby and far away objects appear to be blurred without their eyeglasses. Now do you know what type of lenses are used for such a person who has both myopia and hypermetropia? Do let me know your answers by putting it in the comments below. I look forward to reading your answers. So do put it in the comments below. So friends, hope the concepts of myopia and hypermetropia is crystal clear to you now. And these concepts are not blurry to you. And do remember to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And do check out our website manuchaacademy.com and our Android app Manucha Academy. Here we have full courses for you on science, maths, coding and artificial intelligence. To make it easy, I'll put the links below. So do check it out and share it out with your friends. So stay connected with Manucha Academy and just keep learning.